Welcome back. Taking those first steps to get comfortable exploring the outdoors on your own can be a little intimidating, but when you come together with community nature, you know, it's just more fun when we're in it together. We are joined right now by park ranger Kelly Quain today. She is part of the Nature in Your Neighborhood program. Tell us about that program, Kelly. Yeah, um, so Nature in Your Neighborhood is a program. It's a partnership between Minnesota Valley National Wildlife Refuge and three local libraries in Bloomington and Richfield, where we go into the libraries and we kind of bring the refuge into the community. And it's really a way to kind of uh, meet our neighbors where they are and start building those strong relationships and really getting people comfortable with nature that's right outside their door instead of having to come out to these more wild places right away. Okay, and also it's a little bit warmer. Inside, it is a little bit right? warmer. We do right? try to get outside, weather permitting, but today we're going to stay inside Today's for sure. Be an indoor day. And <laughs> yeah. I love you have this kind of backpack to yeah. show people part of the program. Yeah. Tell us about that. So, um, one really great thing about this program, if you come to three of our programs, every time you come, you get one of these little cards. You'll get a stamp each time you. You, um, attend one of our programs and once you get your whole card filled up you get your very own nature explorer backpack um, for your family that's stuffed full of things to help you explore nature I know, um, in I love your neighborhood. That. I see the binoculars yes. and then you can catch bugs. Yep, you is can catch bugs okay. and you can hold them in that little container until it's time to release them and lots of field guides, um, different activities like that. Okay, and I know you said activities. Yes. You guys also do some crafting stuff. Absolutely. And you prepared on the spot here this <laughs> really neat pine cone craft. Um, kind of walk me through how to make this. Sure. Then talk about the crafting in that part of the program. Yeah, so it's super easy to make these pine cone bird feeders um, and they're really great because you can reuse them it's all natural materials and it's a way to help our feathered friends find some food in these really cold Minnesota winters yeah, so all you need it. is a pine cone some kind of string okay, um, so we got the string yep, to it. peanut butter or you can even use shortening we're and using sunflower kind of butter see, I'm gonna show the camera yeah yeah just that that works mm -hmm. so, so, so peanut butter everybody has this at home yep absolutely we do sunflower butter just in case anyone's got allergies at our programs Love and all it. you want to do is kind of get it all into the nooks and crannies Keep on your on pine there. cone here okay. um, and once you get a good coating on there you're just going to sprinkle some bird seed on there um, and then hang it up around your home your neighborhood um, wherever you see birds around so it gives them somewhere to find um, some food and that peanut butter um, or sunflower butter gives them um, a nice source of fat I love uh, that, that they need. Too. And then you're, you know, you get to watch the birds come and mm -hmm. then you can have a teaching moment. Absolutely, kind yes. Of with that. Great. And at our program, we try to do um, some kind of activity that we can take home with us, either an art project or something that will help the nature around them or even something that they can keep using to explore nature. Wonderful. Yeah. This is such a great program and we want to tell people how to get involved. So we're yeah. going to give them some information. Thank Definitely. you so much again, Kelly. Yeah. We're going to give people information here. There are several events that you can get involved in. One of them is later today. So you can go ahead and start today. That's at Augsburg Park Library. If you can't make that today, there's another one on the 20th that's starting at three o'clock at Penn Lake Library. Plus in February, they're going to hold a candlelight trail and community night event. Learn more on the Minnesota Valley National Wildlife Refuge website. Thank you so much.